been trying to identify a fox turtle. It's a male. It's April 14th, 2019. 971 grams. Dome height, length, and width of millimeters. It has an older notch coat of on the left side, there's a notch here, three over there's a notch, and four over there's a notch here. Okay, this image I just shot on my phone of the unknown turtle. Got a pattern that looks like this. And then this is a video I've got on YouTube from 2014 where it has the same pattern here. It's like a fingerprint. These features right in here are the same is right there. So I identified this one by the pattern is to be number six, number seven, excuse me. But this is actually a male. This says a female, but when I did this video, I wasn't really sure. So it was soon to be a female because it's so small, but this is actually a male. And uh, this pattern right through here is the same on the one that I'm doing right now on this one right there. And then the notch that's back here is the same that I put back in 2014. Okay, this is Gulf Coast box turtle number seven. It took a long time to figure out which one this was. This is April 14th. 2009. It says a dome height of 79, length of 181 millimeters, width of 135 millimeters. It has a deep undercut. It's a male. The arms are black instead of yellow. It has a very distinctive notch code that's older. On the left side, there's a position one and three. The right side is at four. And weighed it here to be 971 grams. And this was very difficult to identify because uh, I went through my entire list of 26 turtles and I didn't jive with any of them. But I didn't identify it by the pattern here. The pattern through here is the same is number seven from 2014 that was five years ago it's kind of like a fingerprint but it'd be much easier to use an RFID on these anyways here's the new data April 14th 2019 971 length width dome recovered at 7 a.m. mail and it was recovered by the pattern reference the 2014 video and by the notches here's the notches and I put these notches in back in 2014 so that was five years ago there's a notch here notch here notch here but this one had changed so much in size um, that it was really difficult to identify and if I went through the entire giant list here At first I thought it was a number uh, six because that was tagged as a male and it was looking at 17 and 16 because they're males but the pattern was totally different same thing with number 22 it's very small and so number seven here was tagged is a female but uh, when they're small they're hard to identify so, I'd like to be able to use some RFIDs on this.
and there is a new distinctive notch right here. And we'll, for posterity, we'll show the pattern like this. Here's the notch code. One, three, and there's a four. But this has been chewed out by a raccoon or something. The arms on this are black. The dome, of course, I measure. With the caliper across here. The length is from the out part of the shell to here and the width. And this one took a long time to identify. I literally put it in a container for a while, went inside and looked at all the old videos. But the nature of those notches on there, those are man-made. So I knew I'd made these or somebody else. And when I first looked at this, I said it couldn't be this because um, it's just, it changed, it hasn't been found for that long. So it's gone from 515 to 971 here in about two years. But this definitely is a scent. This turtle number seven based on the uh, ID through the pattern in here.